Welcome to One Pot, One Time. We are cooking some Singaporean noodles and we're using rice noodles, which we've just cooked, and we're gonna let that air dry. So that's, uh, that's what's going on right now. The reason we're gonna let it air dry is because we wanna be able to control pretty exactly the amount of liquid in the dish. And if the noodles, if you just use the noodles right out of the pot, they've got like too much liquid in it, basically. Of course, we should have done this like six hours ago. It's not really gonna dry that effectively, but you know, it's a thought that counts. The last time I had Singapore noodles was in Singapore at a Malaysian restaurant, funnily enough. And it was the best Singapore noodles I've ever had in my life. Uh, their philosophy was just to, like, just go for the flavor. So we're gonna have a lot of garlic, a lot of ginger. Now we have our uh, cloves of garlic. There's about, it's a full bulb, so maybe 12 cloves of garlic. Uh, in, our, in our little aromatics pot, and now we're gonna add some ginger and some scallions. So, just slice ginger. I'm known in my family as a pretty good ginger slicer, but you know, now since I'm on camera, maybe like some people will come along and say. Your ginger slice is not that good. <laughs> so now we have our peeled piece of ginger. We're just gonna slice it up to approximately match in size the bolts. So again, if you uh, get one of these bulbs or one of these slices of ginger, it's going to be a lot of flavor in your mouth, which is what we want with this dish. It's just the girl who doesn't like garlic. <laughs> so we're going to um, not use the greens, it's just the more oniony part. And the reason is because a lot of stuff is going to go into this. So. We don't want to overcrowd the wok. Save greens for later. So both of these things are going to be julienne. For those of you unfamiliar with the term, julienne means long, thin strips. And that's an exact translation. <laughs> Actually, it might be. I don't know French. So yeah, pretty much just as thin as we can get these strips. Maybe, maybe not that thin. That's too thin. I misspoke. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our Julian pepper now. Uh, I'm just gonna shave a little, a little bit of the skin off this carrot, and then Julian it as well. So really, we call it match sticking. I think when we cut up a carrot in this fashion. So now we have a peeled carrot. I'm just gonna cut it into some more thin strips. Also, Sam, you should totally speed this up so it looks like I'm really good at cutting stuff. <laughs> cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Just kidding, don't do that. Oh, and uh, since we're almost ready to cook, uh, we're gonna turn this lock on, start preheating that. Uh, we're gonna use uh, rice bran oil because it's got a fairly neutral flavor and can cook at high heat and it's not insanely unhealthy for you. So, good combo of things there. Uh, the last step is to get the meat sorted out. So we've got some pork barbecued today. <laughs> Specialty. <laughs> Start chopping this up. Maybe a little smaller than those initial pieces. So a little bit half passing? Yeah. I mean, yeah, no no true rhyme or reason to it. Again, so Singapore noodles in my mind are it's a dish that you just throw everything in the wok and 
What did it taste good? <laughs> but it does taste good. <laughs> <laughs> Caveat, it tastes amazing. <laughs> Last component that we're gonna add is an egg, so what? crack that. What? Get a glass? I thought you could get a bowl. Nah. See, so you just got a single egg, it's pretty easy to risk in a glass. Also, I'm running short on bowls. <laughs> but I usually risk eggs and glasses, I think. Well, maybe I'm always running short on bowls. Uh, this oil situation uh, started. Basically, going to cover the whole, the bottom of the pan in oil. We're going to ratchet up the temperature to pretty much as high as it can go. Oh yeah, the other reason we chose uh, this rice pan oil is very high smoking point. Uh, so if we don't heat it up too quickly, we won't actually see it smoke uh, until we add stuff into the thing, of course. So first, it's going to go the meat. Uh, along with the aromatics, then the vegetables, then the noodles, then finally the egg, and at some point add this, uh, this wine in as well. So, just sort of organizing it. Yeah, yeah light to us. So, to the meat, I'm just adding really simple salt, pepper, and how do you say this? Hua Jiao. Hua Jiao. It's my new Chinese name. It's not. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so now we're ready to go. We've got everything set up. Heat's on 220. Uh, I'm just going to jack it up to 240 and see if it starts smoking. It might. Also, the noodles, we shouldn't forget about them. But, just going to. Start throwing stuff in. I'm gonna let the meat cook a little bit first. The wines and the soy sauce will go in when the veggies go in. And we just added the vegetables. <laughs> and uh, actually, one thing, even though this is a stir fry, we don't want to stir. We don't want to stir too quickly because the oil, uh, which is in contact with the bottom, is what's doing the cooking. So if you're constantly stirring, you're not really getting any cooking done. I mean, they look pretty bright in real life, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compared to some of the other stuff. Like, we got some orange, some yellow, a little bit of green, some white. I mean, the meat's all just, like, pink, but... This is cooking away. Now it's time to add the noodles. Uh, one trick to this is just add them gradually. Otherwise, they all stick together. Honestly, they're gonna stick together anyway, but... You know. Okay, and then soy sauce and wine. Good. 
So there's a, a little bit of a balance here because if we let it sit for too long, the noodles will stick. But we also want some of that reaction that's happening. So now we can see that a lot of the liquid has either been absorbed by the noodles or it's evaporated off. So it's time for our final element, which is just this egg. Yay! Yeah, get in that, that in there. And we don't want to leave that in there for too long, otherwise it becomes scrambled egg. And no one likes scrambled egg. So, 30 seconds at most, I would say. Sort of, this is like sort of reminiscent of maybe a spaghetti carbonara. How's it look on the camera, Sam? It's good. So, hopefully it tastes good. That's too hot. <laughs> You're on camera, come on. That's too hot! Get yeah. back out. No, no, that's fine. Nope. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know. What? Sam's gonna edit it. You're not as courageous as, as Sophie was. <laughs> Sophie was dying before we could. It's good. It's good? It's really good. Sam's gonna edit it. It's really, really good. I can't tell if she's just saying it. No, I'm not a good actor. I'm not courageous either. <laughs> Texture of the noodles is uh, a bit overdone, but not bad. And there are not enough noodles. True. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> we should make more. Oh, we're gonna make more. <laughs>